Hi, I'm Roseanne and welcome to my garden. Today I'd like to talk to you about Irish moss. Irish moss is arguably one of my favorite ground covers, cultivating it for about 20 years. Uh, some of the Irish moss in my garden is, is a lot newer. What are we watching? Irish moss? How oh, this is a channel bomb bonsai. Well, sort of it is actually. So Irish moss is kind of a topic nobody's really covered on YouTube very much for, for bonsai. The, uh, the thing about Irish moss, they go by several different names. So the scientific name is Sagina sebulata. And um, it also goes by several other common names like pearlwort, scotch moss. Um, hang on. Let me pull up a list of all the common names. Okay, so this particular type of moss is sort of not really a moss at all. Um, and it's used in a lot of landscaping and made me look really pretty uh, growing in kind of between the cracks of all your um, flagstones or kind of around the garden. But they're terrible for bonsai. Let me tell you about it. So pearlwort or Irish moss or Scotch moss can um, kill off your bonsai. So what happens with these moss is you can find them just about anywhere in any of the local hardware stores or nurseries and they're used for landscaping a lot. But the problem is they grow really long roots. And although they may look good as a top dressing, they're terrible because what they do is they choke out your bonsais. And if you're growing bonsai in a little shallow, shallow container or, or bonsai pot about this thick, um, those roots will start becoming a tangled mass and choke out the, the tree that it's growing in or the pot of the tree that it's growing in. And um, it'll restrict water flow it will suck up all the nutrients and um, basically just strangle your bones to death. So back when I did the video on, um, uh, I believe it was the giant sequoia, you know, I pulled up this moss out of my, out of my pavers and just kind of started topping it. But, you know, as the season went on, I realized, wait a second, this stuff is bad. Uh, and it killed off a couple of my trees. Uh, I've killed off a, uh, a heather that I had in a bonsai pot and um, it also affected some of my brother's trees and so yeah it wasn't good. Um, if you leave it in there long enough what it does is you know like I said before it'll start growing this mat of roots. The roots are just too long. So avoid at all costs this Irish moss, this scotch moss, it is no good. Let's take a look at what kind of damage these pearl warts can do. Here are some hornbeam seedlings and they can literally just take over the entire pot. Just cover it, suck up all the nutrients and um, you know, block and drainage holes. You see those roots? Those roots dive deep. And um, if I let this thing continue on, this whole pot would literally be uh, a dense mat of these pearlwort roots and they they are very prolific and they get into everything so these are actually um, hornbeam failures I just have really terrible luck with hornbeam seedlings um, and, and you can see here it's in every single pot I've already pulled a bunch out and these are going into the compost unfortunately um, just didn't make it and they're covered with pearl wort. I don't know if there's a correlation there, but probably not. And over time, they do a lot more damage and uh, suffocate out any particular pot they, I would say, infest. So pull these guys out. It is not something you want to use as moss or topping in your bonsai pots. Let them go. Burn it. Burn it all to the ground. See all that? 
that becomes a huge mat right there. Burn it. Burn it all to the ground. The other problem with Irish moss is that it is virtually impossible to kill. So there's uh, several different methods that I've seen. Some people use uh, weed killer, but very lightly kind of um, spot uh, check those parts of the pot where they're growing out of. You, know, you don't want to spray weed killer onto your bonsai because it'll kill your bonsai. Um, so what some people have done is they've taken rollers and then kind of rolled it over some weed killer and then they'll roll it over like a paint roller over the Irish moss to get rid of it. Uh, here's another method that I've seen that is a little bit more organic, a little bit safer for the tree. Uh, I've used vinegar to get rid of Irish moss. So what I'll do is I'll add vinegar to a cup and then take a paintbrush and I'll start painting over the areas that has the Irish moss. And then usually within about a day, you'll see that the Irish moss will start to die off. However, it doesn't kill it all the way down to the roots. So you have to reapply every, every three or four days because you'll see it spring back up. But if you continue to reapply and kill it over and over again and weaken it enough so that you can actually uh, get rid of it. So sorry, Roseanne, I know it looks beautiful in your garden, but no thanks. We'll keep it off of our bones eyes. You're doing a good job though. Appreciate the video.